it's pretty nuts how much cameras have shrunk in the last few years and actually some of them even started to fly. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite angles to capture and share an amazing day in the mountains. So first of all, the POV angle. It's a really nice angle to cut a shot and to transition from the main angles. Right? One important rule with the POV is to try to vary the angles and vary the shots as much as possible. The POV is also a great tool to tell a story. So what I do quite often in a line is that I'll be riding, I'll be stopping in a crack in a line and I would stick out my helmet and quickly tell the story. The aerial angle, this is my favorite and it's been the latest revolution to being able to take a drone in the mountain for everyday riding. The aerial angle is really crucial to being able to show the real dimension of a line. Before drones, the only way to shoot aerials was with helicopters. In our expeditions, we've been trying all sorts of different tools and toys to being able to film from the air. And finally, the drones have arrived, they've miniaturized a ton, and they make our life so much easier to tell the story and really show the dimension of the place and of the line. And then there is the Barbie angle, which is the good old school angle, which you will be filming sitting in front of your line with your barbecue going, with a big lens, and uh, which will kind of give a big overall impression of the line. It's totally skippable if you uh, have a drone, but if you don't, it's a mandatory angle. And then there is the on-slope angle, like when someone is shooting you from inside the line. This is never going to be your main angle, but it's a great way to show the action from close. I think it is a great satisfaction to being able to capture all your best moments and share them with your friends. But hey, at the end of the day, let's not forget to leave the actual moments. And I mean for real. <laughs> 